Hi all, welcome back, and today we're going to be figuring out how to get the Deviant out of Silo Alpha. To do it, we actually need the stun baton, which you can get from Holt Town in Chalk Peak. Now you might have been here before, it's a really big mansion, lots of places, lots of loot to collect. However, if you go down the manor here into this office, you'll notice that there's a lift. It doesn't quite look like it should be there. As you can see, you need an access card to gain entrance, but this actually is the exit, not the entrance. So in order for us to get the stun baton blueprint, we do need to get the mystical crate from here. Now, I don't know if you can get this in any of the other places. I have looked in all of them. This was like my last stop. And this is where I found it. So if you found the stun baton blueprint before this by looking in other mystical cool crates in Chalk Peak, great, I love that. Maybe let me know in the comments. However, this is the only place I've been able to find it myself. So I'm just having a bit of a nose here to see if there's a shortcut. Unfortunately, there wasn't for me. <laughs> so I'm going to just go through the main entrance and just head straight over to the elevator. Upon entering the museum, you'll see a lot of enemies just having a nice little snooze on the floor and they tend to stay there. You can't really hit them for damage, anything like that. But there is lots of loot in here and some chest crates. So do recommend having a little look. However, when you do click to go into the elevator, the alarm does go off and all the enemies wake up. So prepare for a fight. Big tip here as well is that when you do get into the elevator or lift as we call it in England, do make sure to press start because if you don't you'll be sat on the ground floor with an alarm going off. I totally didn't do that. The second you get out of the lift you can see this big yellow cordoned off area but you do need an access card to gain entrance. It's actually in here where you'll find your mystical crate. So let's go ahead, let's spend two seconds and find the card. The access card for once is very easy to find. As soon as you come out of this yellow area, take a left and then turn the corner to the right hand side. On that table, right at the end of the table where you're standing, there's the access card. So pick it up. Take a nice little run back over to the yellow area I just showed you and then activate the access card. Now there will be enemies in here and egg sacs so you do need to kill a lot of things and be careful. Them spiders do in fact hold gas canisters which go kaboom. To avoid you having to watch my painful gameplay, I have in fact sped up this fight bit, but as you can see, this is where the mystical crate is. In that crate will be the blueprint for your stun baton, and here you can also see there's a lift. If you take that lift, as you can see, it will take you straight back into that office where we first started, which is pretty much where everybody goes and looks and gives up. But there you have it. So what we're going to do now is teleport back onto our base. So when we're back at base, we're going to go ahead and find our blueprint for the stun baton and we're going to fuse it. By doing this step, we are making it available for us to go ahead and build that weapon. Don't forget, if this is going to become a weapon of choice, you can enhance it to make it even stronger. So here I am standing conveniently, ready to go ahead and build it as if I knew this is exactly what I was going to do. So if I go to the melee and then go ahead and build my stun baton. You can build this at any tier, they will all work. However, I've built this as a tier 5 to make it my weapon of choice for a little while. Don't forget you can calibrate it, enhance it, all that kind of stuff, as well as adding mods. Feel free to equip it now, or equip it when you're in there, but ultimately make sure you have it on your character when you go to the silo. So talking of silos, let's head over to silo alpha now, so that we can go ahead and complete this and get that deviant. Now as you can see on my map, I have left it up just for a quick second. I'm going to teleport over there, but you can see the coordinates, and it is still in Chalk Peak as well. So once teleported over, it's just a two second drive, but again with the magic of editing, I have sped up this part. I will speed up a few parts within this as well, just so that it's a bit easier for you guys to watch. We also don't need to comment about how banged up my motorbike is. Don't worry about it. It did blow up later on, but you don't get to see that today. So you might be doing this whilst on a mission for T-Man, so if you are, make sure to talk to him first. Now when I go into this silo, I actually do it on hard mode, because I did it four or five times on normal mode, and I didn't get the Deviant. And the first time I did it on hard, I did, so maybe that's the trick you're missing. So it does say to have other players with you to make it a lot easier, however, this wouldn't be any challenge for me unless I did it solo. As you can see, that's exactly what I did. Now in this tutorial, I am only showing you how to get the Deviant. If you want a bigger tutorial about the whole silo, absolutely let me know in the comments. However, like I said, it's just a way of you being able to find the Deviant and how to access that. So the stun button again is very important for this. If you don't have that, probably not gonna be able to do it. Now there are big differences between doing this on normal mode and doing it on hard. There's harder enemies, as you'd probably expect. There's more of them, which again, expected. But there's also like landmines and motion sensors as well. So just be careful of that when you're looking around the game. So 
So the silo up until this part has actually been the same as the normal mode. So it's all a one way path. You can't really deviate much from it. Um, as you can see, the excess card placement is still there and we don't have the card yet. So we do still have to go into that room ahead and go ahead and defeat the enemies in there. And that's where you get the access card. So here's the big difference from going from normal silo to the hard silo version is you've got these. You can't shoot at them. What you have to do is make your way through it. And then at the end, there's a little fuse box that you can turn on to deactivate these lasers. So they're deactivated from my way back, which is great news. So now I've just got to go into here and just kill these enemies. I'm going to speed this bit up just to make it less painful for you guys. So as you can see, I'm a little bit slow and steady, hence the speeding up needed because I'm solo on a hard mode. Um, you do have to go ahead and beat the enemies in here, especially that Rosetta Heavy, because that's the one that ultimately has the access card. As you can see, I deal with him pretty swiftly, grab that card, and then I speed my way back to the access code area. So I don't jump in guns blazing with this one because there are a lot of enemies in here to be careful of. Not only that, but they also have the drones. And these drones, this first time I've actually seen them during this mission, um, these drones actually electrocute you and stun you in place. So if you were in there and you got stunned, you're like almost like an instant down. So again, I take this slow and steady. I've kind of cut all of this out just so you guys can see. But I did want to keep the drones in so you can see what you're up against. So I am happy to report I didn't go down at all during that, which is quite a miracle for me. I have cleared this area, so I'm just going to run down there for you. Now you could try and do a hopscotch jump over the little sewage pipe bit at the end of the map bar here. However, what you might be uh, better off doing is at the top here of these stairs, you can just walk across the support beam. Now this is the fork in the road. To my left here, you'll be able to go and defeat the main boss and complete the silo and it starts off a five minute timer. However, if you go right and kill these two enemies, you're then accessing the area where you'll be able to get the deviant. Hopefully, you know, RNG on your side that is. So with my trusty access card here, I'm going to open up this area. You can see the entrance to the deviant area. Obviously, we don't want to go in there just yet because to our left, we can see lots of chests that we can open up for some lovely good loot. Don't forget them. So just walking through here, we get to like a cinema theater kind of location, which is kind of cool. And you just need to go ahead and defeat these enemies. Again, with the power of editing, I have kind of sped this up and cropped a bit out for you to get to the juicy part. As you can see, I just leveled up as well to level 48. It does say that this should be a level 50 and you should have three people. So if I can do it and I'm an idiot, you guys should be able to fly past this easy. So go ahead, do some sleuthing, get all the loot, all that kind of stuff. Now what you can see in here is some blue wires on the floor and they're kind of connected to these blue little sections. These little things are what you need to hit with your stun button and activate them. Now there are five in total, so I tend to leave the middle one to the end, so then obviously I'm there straight away when it activates. So if I went over to the right hand side here, there's two there. There's one at the back, and then there's one if you're facing the, the theatre from the entrance on the left hand side. That's your fourth. And then obviously on the checkered floor there, on the kind of like the, the main dance floor area kind of looking place, there's your fifth and final one. The second you hit that, you're then triggering the event, and you need to go ahead and kill that main stage boss. Once you've killed that, and all the crawlers and Noras and whatever else, and the grabbers, whatever else wants to come at you, again, I'll speed that up for you to make it less painful. But once you've defeated that, that's when RNG hopefully is on your side. And if you've come in on the silo and hard mode, this is where ultimately you should be able to get the Deviant. And the Deviant is one that you might actually already have. Because if you've been doing low side quests to collect all the deviants, this is a H37, the little cat robot again, which is adorable. But obviously these ones are going to be much stronger, which means better loot. So go ahead and collect your deviant if you're hard enough. Once you've done that, feel free to take the main loot as well and then escape this part, complete the silo or back out the dungeon. It's completely up to you. But there's your deviant. So I hope that really helped guys. Please do consider liking and subscribing, all that kind of fun stuff. And I will see you on the next video. Take care.